welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to give you some vinci proverbs and their meanings and when i say vinci um for those of you who uh subscribe to my channel and not from the caribbean um where i am from saint vincent and the grenadines we speak vincentian creole or dialect sometimes if you for instance you we will say yo and things of that nature um it's not that we don't speak english we do speak english i sure you understand what i just said but we have this vincent <clears throat> this vincentian creole and that's our a part of our culture and <clears throat> These Vincentian proverbs is also like Vincentian scenes. Um, for those of you from the Caribbean who probably grew up with your grandparents and stuff, or you might you might hear this from somebody else. These are like old scenes that you might grow up hearing your grandparents telling you, or even your mother or father telling you. So the first one is if crab na walk, you na get fat. And in English, this is basically saying, if a crab does not walk, it won't get fat. And the meaning behind this is basically, if one does not go around with some level of curiosity, one might never get to know information which might be beneficial to them. You got me. <laughs> and uh, the second one, chosprat to catch whale. And this is used to mean um, in conversation, you can say something to, to cause um, the person you're talking to to give you more than just surface level information on a particular matter. So you, you might say, just practice to catch wheel. It's like you're saying something, it's like trying to pull the legs, trying to get more information from them. So you say something that might that might give you more information if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, number three is mouth open, story jump out. And this is, for instance, like you say, you chose Pratt to catch whale. And it's like, <clears throat> you chose Pratt to catch the whale and then you get more information that you really need. So it's like saying, your mouth open, story jump out. It's like, from the start to talk, you start to get more information than we really expect to get. Yes, and um, number four, what is a joke for school children might be debt for the cropo. And cropo is a term used for frog, another name for frog, yes, and school children this is basically saying school children might find it fun to kick frogs when they when they see them on the street but their fun could ultimately result into death of the frog in a broader context this is used to mean be careful of the jokes you make with people because they could take them seriously because sometimes you make jokes with people and they can't take the jokes that you give to them. So that's basically saying what is joke for school children is that for crapple. Yes. And I'm going to give a fifth one. All skin teeth, not off. And this basically means that everyone who smiles with you is sincere. And also that every smile doesn't indicate indicate funness so sometimes it's not always every smile that you see somebody gave you that it's genuine and uh, a sixth one is see me and come live with me are two are two different things and this means that the image portrayed by a friend or family member as being nice might change if you experience living with the person and seeing their true colors so sometimes um this is like saying one may portray a different way outdoor and 
to come and actually see live um like being around them like home it's a total different person again so yes i hope you guys are <laughs> getting the vibes of it the whole aspect of it and um number seven is take time and kill ants and you will find its belly or you could find or you will find its guts and this is the same as saying life rewards persistence so it's like taking take time to do what you're doing don't rush you will eventually succeed whether in whatever you set out to do and then number eight pass so say Christmas, your picnic first and this means look out for the closest to you before you look out for others so you will tend to look as in passes um passes say christy pitney falls so you will look out for who is around you before you look out for others and number nine hug a bed in the first water this means that it's often to better strike the iron while it's hot when an opportunity comes up don't delay take advantage early so for instance you might see like um a sale you'll take chances in, in getting the sale before the price goes back up right so that is like saying hugs a bed in the first water and number 10 and this is kind of new to me i think this is the first time i'm seeing this one it's a mother prime say it would always be so and this is basically saying it's not clear exactly who mother prime or priam is or was or if the correct the character is fiction is a fictional one the proverbs however means that no matter the struggles you are facing at present things will improve at some point interesting and 11 where hearts reach donkey can reach and this one means that everyone no matter their size stature or resources they have the potential to reach where those who are already established established have reached so for instance you might probably have a small business and then somebody is well established up they have everything going for them and that is basically saying wherever that person reach you will reach one day no matter how how long it take you will get there and number 12 the wasteful will always want and this one is so so true this one and it actually say this one is self-explanatory those who are wasteful will always find themselves in periods of want you waste being wasteful today some sometime down in life you're going to all you're going to want that same thing you waste so wasteful the wasteful will always and number 13 one day go be conquer day and this means that no matter how unfairly you have been treated in life you will rise above it and conquer it one day so no matter what um how unfair life may be to you sometimes one day you will conquer definitely 14 today for you tomorrow for me and this is like also saying and i didn't even read this it's like saying every dog has them there it's like every person have their day every person have the time when they'll be successful today it might be for this person tomorrow but maybe for that other person and then number 15 who have coco ado look out for rain and this one is usually used to alert a neighbor that they have visitors or relatives on their way and they are close by so get ready for the arrival in terms of its history person who dried cocoa beans won't want to get um to get them wet so if rain is going to come you'd want to slavage your cocoa beans 
so i think that that breaks it down a lot um number 16 where i not see heart not grieve and this one is to mean that something you haven't seen with your eyes cannot really affect your feelings towards it especially when it comes to food preparation so it's like if you didn't see like something might a piece of food might jump around the post and the person picks it back up and put it on the plate and then so this other person so it's basically saying what your eye didn't see how it won't grieve because you don't know that it fell on the ground only the person who know that it fell on the ground <laughs> if you get what i mean and number 17 moon run moon run till they catch up this means that no matter the, the amount of bad you do it will catch up on you at some point it also means that no matter how much you try avoiding someone or some decision of situation you will eventually come face to face with it literally it speaks of the movement of the earth and how the positions of the sun and the moon are seen in relation to one another from night to day <clears throat> and this is going to be my last one number 18 guinea pig now bring ram goat <laughs> and this one is usually used to describe the stalk the stalk similarities in the behavior of a child in relation to their parents it is like saying the apple does not fall far from the tree so it's like saying that um an apple tree won't be a peach so if you get me there are many more proverbs but i think um if you'd like to hear more i i can do like another video in the future or so there's so 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 many more but i think i'll definitely do a part two because there are so many more that i can use and highlight and uh, thank you so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that someone who's probably not from my country may learn something new and may find this video interested and uh, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if there's anything else that you'd like to see me do feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section